Alright, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire Wi-Fi battle This time we're going against Ethan aka Reman98 on Twitter I will leave a link to that in the description below so you guys go show him a follow on Twitter because that'd be freaking awesome So today we have a UU match. This is a really freaking good battle I, This is, this battle is actually really good. It came down to the wires So let's go over the teams. I have a Zoroark, Banette, which is a Mega Banette It got a Weezing, Empoleon, Semi-Sage, and Rotop Heat And Ethan is, uh, Ethan is like battling with a Mega Pidgeot, uh, Needle King, Arcanine, Sceptile, Gudra, and Galvantula. And his team is like, look at our teams. Like his team is a lot more bulky. Just looks a lot better than my team. And his, his team is actually pretty freaking good. So let's just go ahead and jump into this battle. But before that, let's go ahead and drop a like down below. If you guys could smash that like button down below, that'd be very much appreciated. All the support on these battles means a lot. If you guys want to keep daily Wi-Fi battles, let's go ahead and drop a like down below. So thank you guys so much for all your support. And let's go ahead and get right into this battle. So like I said, this was a pretty freaking good battle. Also guys, make sure you guys leave tier suggestions in the comment section below. Uh, let me know what to play. So uh, he's going to lead off with his Galvantula. I'm going to go ahead and lead off with Rotom Heat, which is actually a Zoroark. So this was actually a very crucial play because if Let's say, like, I went for something and he knew it was a Zorak. He could have went for Bug Buzz and just killed me right off the bat. But I go for Flamethrower here. And um, he switches out to Gudra. So that was a good uh, prediction on his part. I think he was predicting the Overheat, not the Flamethrower. But it still worked out in his favor. And um, now I have to get out of here. So I'm going to go for the U-Turn. But that unfortunately, this does give away that it's a Zorak. But it really does not matter because Rotom Heat doesn't get Flamethrower anyway. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to swap out. I'm going to take some Life Orb damage, of course. But we're going to go back. And I think I go I think I go out to Empoleon here. I think that's who I go out to. Yeah, Neptune, which is the Empoleon, so I'm going to switch out and do him. And I believe he goes for the Dragon Pulse, which he does. And this is not going to do anything. I figured that he wasn't going to go for anything else but Dragon Pulse. And if he had Thunderbolt, he wouldn't go for it that turn. So now I'm going to get some lefties. And here I wanted to scout for the Thunderbolt. Um, I knew it was not going to kill me, barring a crit. Well, even with the crit, it wasn't going to kill me. So he's going to go for the Fire Blast here. And uh, that's actually not going to do very much, but he is going to get the burn, which is unfortunate. So that's going to put a timer on my Empoleon. But I'm going to go ahead and set up the Stealth Rocks. I was actually uh, thinking about double switching here, um, predicting the Galvantula to come in, but it, that didn't happen. And I figured I would just do the safest move. So let's go ahead. Not let's go ahead. <laughs> We're not going ahead and do anything. So we're going to get our leftovers. And of course our burn damage and I'm gonna go ahead and go for the switch out because it's definitely not a good position for me I don't want to get another fire blast and burn damage because that put me really really low And I really want to eat up hits from the Pidgeot because Pidgeot's a huge threat and Rotom Not Rotom, um, other guy and Pulleon's a good stopper So he's gonna actually go for the muddy water. I don't know if he predicted this, but it was a really good play He got the crit. I don't know if that mattered, but he did go for the muddy water and it's able to kill my Rotom heat So now I'm gonna cut to Muppet who is the Banette who is a Mega Banette and now I think he's gonna switch out and I believe he switches out into Galvantula here, which is completely fine because this lets me kill his Galvantula without getting up sticky webs. So um, this whole battle I was really planning on uh, just a good way to get rid of this Galvantula without it, uh, out of using sticky webs. So I do have Taunt on my Banette, so I really wanted to get Banette out before Galvantula. And I figured this was a perfect time, but I did go for Shadow Sneak on the Switch anyway, so it didn't really matter. So I can just Shadow Sneak two times and I'm able to kill this thing. So that is really good. And this Shadow Sneak does a lot less than I thought it would, so... I don't know, maybe I'm just un overestimating Mega Manette's power, but we're going to get that Shadow Snake off and Galvantula is going to drop, which is very, very good because now we don't have to worry about Sticky Webs at all, and that is that is a really good sign. So now he's going to switch out to his Arcanine, and um, I really want to get rid of this thing so I can start Will-O-Wisping freely. So um, this thing is definitely something I want to get rid of. So I believe I switch out here and I go out and sue my Weezing, which is a pretty good play because Weezing is definitely going to be able to eat anything up, and he, this guy's actually Life Orbed. Um, for a second, I thought he was banded because this Fire Blast does a lot, a lot. Look at how much this does to a defensive Weezing. That is absolutely an insane amount. Maybe I'm just underestimating Arcanine because Arcanine is freaking powerful. Oh my god. So I'm going to get my Black Sludge, which is really, really helpful because it's going to help me live the next one. Um, he is Life Orb. We do see that. So now I can actually play around with this. And um, I can go for the Pain Split here, which I do go for. And um, that was actually a really good play on my part. Actually, I don't think I go for the Pain Split. I go for the Sludge Bomb here. That makes me kill. I go for the pain split the next turn. Um, so we're going to get that sludge bomb off, and it's going to be able to kill the Arcanine, which is really, really good, because now I said I can Will-O-Wisp uh, Will Will freely. And um, I have two Pokemon with Will-O-Wisp, so that's really good. And uh, now Nidoking's going to come out, and that, now I was just kind of like sacking this thing off. I figured I was just going to die, so I go for the pain split here, but instead he goes for the power punch. I don't know if he's predicting a switch shower. just thought this would kill, but that does not kill. And I'm able to go ahead and go for the pain split, which is really, really nice because this, this gives more health to my Weezing. And that is, that is really good because Weezing needs to be around to be able to eat up hits. And uh, he can actually help out a lot against the Sceptile, so that's really good. So now we're going to go over half because of the Black Sludge. And I think I pull a switch out here. When, uh, no, I think he pulls out the switch. 
and he goes into Gujra, and I do go for the will o -Wisp here, and I'm able to put a timer on this Gujra, which is really good, because Gujras are just a bulky wall in general, and, um, putting a timer on is really good, considering not a lot of Pokemon on my team, barring Zor uh, Zorwark, are able to take on this thing, so, there we go, so we're gonna put the burn on Gujra, and that is really, really nice, as I was talking about, I'm gonna get the Black Sludge, and I'm definitely going to switch out here, and I'm, I think I go out into my Empoleon, I think that's what I go out into, because Empoleon is just going to be able to eat up anything that this thing goes for. And it definitely do go out, go out to that thing. <laughs> and uh, it's going to go for the Fire Blast. And it's going to do uh, the exact same amount as the other times. Thank God he did not get a crit here because that would be very unfortunate. I'm going to get those lefties. And uh, he is a Salt Vest. We do learn that because I think I knock it off earlier. So that's why this Ice Beam that I'm about to do will not do absolutely anything. So that's nice. I think I knocked off. I know I knock off the Assault Vest at some time. So... That's alright. He's gonna miss the Fire Blast, which is unfortunate for him. And I'm gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam. No, I didn't knock it off. I frisked it. That's what, that's the thing. I frisked it with Mega Binet. So, no, in regular Binet, I should say. And the Burn is going to be able to finish off this Gujra. So that Burn was very, very crucial. It helped me. I helped my Empoleon live another hit. Uh, the, uh, what's it called? The Fire Blast miss was unfortunate. But he did Crit Mirror in the battle. So I guess it's just kind of, you know, just kind of helps me out. This little bit of a, just got it in the back. So, Pidgeot is going to come out. And uh, now I'm at a low enough health, which is very unfortunate. I just have to sack it off. And he's going to go in further. He's just going to go... <laughs> I need to stop talking so fast in these Wi-Fi battles. I need to start chilling out. But since they're post -com, it's kind of harder to do that. So I'm going to go for the... I think I'll just go for the Ice Beam here to get some damage off. And he's going to go for the Heat Wave and be able to take me out, which is unfortunate. But it's actually not that bad. It's really not that bad because I do have ways of playing around this Pidgeot. I believe now I end up going out into my... um. They go out into Weezing, which is the Zorwark though. So this is really cool. This is really cool. So I'm able to get up a huge Sucker Punch, and this is really, really crucial because this puts a lot of pressure on Pidgeot. It's not able to kill, but he is going to go for the Hurricane and take me out. I don't know if you know if this was a Zorwark or not, but um, Hurricane was the right play either way. So it doesn't really matter. So this is the Zorwark, and uh, we're gonna go ahead and die, and that's very unfortunate because I just love using Zorwark. I freaking love Zorwark so much. So. I'm going to go out to Muppet, who is the Mega Binet, and here he does go for the Roost, which is unfortunate. I go for the Will-O-Wisp, though, so that's really good, because I'm able to put a timer on him. And if he wants to start switching out, because we do warn he has U-Turn, um, Stealth Rocks and uh, Burn is going to do a lot. It's going to help me out so much. Put a lot of pressure on this thing. So, he's going to go for the Roost, and I'm going to go for the Taunt here, in case he decides to double Roost. But instead, he just goes for the U-Turn, which is completely fine with me. I think the better, uh, better move would definitely have been Hurricane. I think Hurricane would probably... Put him in a lot better position, but he is just going to go for the U-turn, which is alright, alright by me, and I'm going to take nothing from that, because he is burned, so he's going to go ahead and switch out, and I think he goes right into his Needle King, or is he going to Needle King or Sceptile? Goes into Sceptile, and uh, this is okay with me, so he's going to take that rock damage, it's not going to do very much, because he is a grass type, so I'm going to go for the knockoff when he goes for Giga Drain, he's going to get, this is a lot less than I thought it would, so that was really good, I thought he would be like Specs or something, but turns out after I knock him off, he's Pattaya Berry, so I don't really know what that does, and I don't know how that helps him, but pretty interesting, so I'm just going to be able to go for the Shadow Sneak here and take this thing out, so that is very, very nice, so Sceptile does go down, and I believe it's two Pokemon versus two Pokemon, it's like three versus three or something like that. Actually, no, I have Simi Sage, Weezing, and this guy, so he's going to go out to Pidgeot, who is going to be able to take me out, I believe. I don't know. Does he is, does he take me out here? I don't know. I know he gets that rock, so I go for the taunt here because I'm not about to risk a roost. That would be very, very... That would suck if he roosted here, but he does not. He just goes for the hurricane, and he's going to be able to take me out, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter. So now I could have went out to Weezing, but Weezing would have actually been the wrong play because if he killed my Weezing, then I have to face his Needle King with my Simi Sage. So... Uh, sacking off Simi Sage here is the better play because he will die from burn, but now he's going to switch out and go for U-turn, which I don't really agree with that play. I think Hurricane would have definitely been the better move. I don't know who, I'm pretty sure he outspeeds, he probably does, so uh, I think that would have been the better move there. And um, now he's going to switch out to Needle King, and I'm just going to go for knockoff here, and that does reveal the back Black Sludge, but we already knew that. And I will be able to go for Seed Bomb after that, and uh, when he switches out after that, he will come in and die to rocks that is very very good for me so that's about going to wrap up the battle i'll just let these couple turns uh, play out while i do my little outro so thank you guys so much for checking out this battle if you guys did happen to enjoy make sure you guys go ahead and smash that like button down below for me if you guys want to keep daily wi-fi battles coming smash that like button down below i would love that so much all your support does mean a lot to the people have shown their support thank you guys so much so do not forget to leave your tier suggestions in the comment section below. And uh, I guess just thank you guys so much for checking out these Wi-Fi battles. You guys seem to be really enjoying them. And they're really, really fun to just bring them back to the channel. I love the thumbnail. I love the graphics. So that just makes the channel, not the channel, the uh, series even more fun to just upload and record. So thank you guys so much for checking out this Wi-Fi battle. Make sure you guys go check out Ethan in the description below. And I'll see you all next time.
Peace out.